Amen. So let's go ahead and go over your memory scripture for today, for this week, I mean. So it's Matthew 5, 3. Matthew 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5, 3. Okay, one more time. Matthew 5, 3. Matthew 5, 3. All right. Awesome. Okay. So remember, we're learning the Beatitudes now. So for the next few weeks, that's what we'll be learning. All of them will start with blessed. Um, and these are just wise sayings. They, um, yeah. All right. So we talked about it yesterday. All right, so let's go ahead and get into our lesson. So we've been talking about Samson, who is the next champion, the next judge over the land of Israel. Last week when we finished with Samson, we talked about how he, um, you know, he would get distracted easily. Samson would often get distracted and he was empowered by God to do, he was chosen by God to uh, free the people from the Philistines, but Samson uh, would allow a lot of his personal uh, situations to get in the way of what God was calling him to do. So remember, Samson was upset because his wife had told the men his riddle. So he left her, right? He left her and they gave his wife away to someone else. So after some time, Samson got over it. He wasn't upset anymore. And he decided that he wanted to go back to Timnath where he would go and get his wife again. But when he gets there, he finds out that his wife was given to someone else and that she's no longer his wife. So he felt betrayed by her father. And so he's like, why would you give her away? And his father, her father's like, well, you left her, right? So we gave her away. He says, but, but, because he was so afraid of Samson, he said, but he, he, she has a sister. You could marry her sister. But Samson didn't want to marry her sister. He was upset. And he said, I'm, I promise, he says, I'm going to get even with you Philistines because of what had happened. Now, remember, I told you this was his own personal thing. He was upset with the Philistines, not because of what they were doing to his people, but because of what they did to him. So it was a personal thing when he went out and took revenge against them. It was because he was upset with them. So remember, I told you he caught the 300 foxes, right? He tied their tails together and put a torch and he sent them, sent them through the fields of the Philistines. All their crops burned, some of their trees burned, all of that burned because of what Samson had done. So when they realized that this happened, it was 300 foxes that allowed these fields to catch on fire. They knew it was nobody but Samson who could do something like that. So they decided that they would get back at him, right? So what they did was they killed. Uh, the father-in-law and his and Samson's wife, whatever they they ended up, you know, getting rid of them because they felt like it was their fault. When it it kind of it was Samson's fault, right? But yeah, they they he probably shouldn't have given his wife away. But it was it was it was just they were blaming everyone else, and so they were upset with them. So when Samson hears what they did, then he gets more upset. Right. And then he went into like this great rage and he just went and killed a large number of Philistines. And then I told you after that, he went and lived in the rocks. Right. And so Samson, yes, God did call him to destroy the Philistines, but he's not doing it because of the glory of God in this moment. Right. He is doing it for his own selfish gain, his own personal reason, and because he's mad about what they've done to him. Right. So after some time, the Philistines. You know, they hadn't heard from Samson because he was living in the rocks. Remember, they marched into Judah and they told the people that they were there to capture Samson, right? That they wanted him or they would destroy the people. So the people of Judah, they were like, well, we know where he is. We're going to go get him for you and bring him back. So they did just that. They went to the mountains, I mean, the caves, the rocks, and they went and got Samson. And they told him, they said, the, the Philistines are here and we are not going to allow them to destroy us because of you, Samson. We have done nothing to the Philistines. It's all because of what you've done to them. So they said, let us capture you 
to bring you to the Philistines so that they can do whatever. And so Samson doesn't, you know, and he could, he could have fought, but he doesn't. He says, okay. And so they tie him up and they bring him out from the rocks and they will bring him to the Philistines. So when the Philistines see Samson, they're like, yay, we captured him. We got him. But in that moment, the spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. He was empowered with that supernatural strength. He broke from the ropes. He found a jawbone of a donkey, which he's not supposed to touch that because it's a dead thing. But anyway, he finds the jawbone of the donkey and he ends up slaying a thousand of the Philistines. In that moment, a thousand of them were slayed because, you know, he had that job on. That's something that wasn't even a weapon. And so it just showed his supernatural strength and what he could do. So the Philistines, when they see this, they run and they're like, okay, we'll leave Samson alone. We, we know how strong he is. We know what he can do. So they said, we don't want to capture him. We'll leave him alone. But does that mean they still did not like Samson? Yeah, they still don't like him. They just, in that moment, they knew it wouldn't be wise for them to try to capture him right? So Samson, you know, after this happens, not only were the Philistines afraid, but the Israelites were afraid too. Everybody's afraid of him in this moment because he can do things that are not natural. He has this supernatural strength. And when the Lord comes, the spirit of God comes upon him, it's like he does things that are impossible. So everyone is like, we're just going to leave Samson alone, okay? But Samson decides to go back in the Philistine cities, right? Remember, he one day just decided, you know what, I'm going to go. I'm just going to see what's going on in the Philistine city. But I told you it's not because he was going to fight, right? Who was he going to see? He saw a woman, a Philistine woman there as well. So he did not learn his lesson the first time. He was with the Philistine woman. So anyway, so the men in this Philistine city hear that Samson is in town. So they're planning. They're like, okay, he's in our city now. He's in our territory now, so we are going to get, mm -mm, we are going to get him, right? So they're like, we are going to capture him because he's in our city. He's not expecting us to do this to him, right? That's why he's in our city. He thinks he can do what he wants, right? So... The people, that they're making a plot. They're like, we're going to capture him. We're going to get him. We're going to do this. We're going to do that, right? So they're thinking, we're just going to capture him. It's going to be no problem. We're just going to get Samson, right? He's not going to be expecting us to capture him at all. So they're scared, though. They're scared of Samson, but they're like, he's not here for to fight, right? Samson was there because he saw a woman. So they're like, he's not going to be expecting this at all. This is the time. Okay, so the problem is Samson is in the Philistine city, right? And instead of doing what the Lord called him to do was to, you know, free the people and fight against the Philistines, he's there for a different purpose. And so I told you, see, he's distracted and now he doesn't even know that his life is at risk because he's distracted in this moment. Okay, so Samson, you know, he, uh, he ends up hearing about what was going on. He ends up hearing about that they were going to try to capture him. So he ends up escaping out of the city, right? So he escapes out of the city, no harm done to him at all. But that don't mean that doesn't mean they still don't like Samson. They still want to get rid of him. And they will, they will. They're like, we're going to get rid of him some way, somehow. So they plan this to happen. But Samson ends up escaping out of the city gates. And now the thing is, whenever he got out of the city gate, he actually tore the gate apart. Yeah. Told y'all he had this supernatural strength. That's why he could rip the lion like he did. And now when he left, he tore the city gates. So yeah, they were like, yeah, Samson's going to be hard to capture. But you know, they, they believe that they'll get it done one day. Okay. So they're not messing with him in this moment, but they still in the back of their mind are like, one of these days, one of these days, one of these days. So Samson is left alone. The Philistines can't stand him because of all that he's done. He burned their fields, burned their crops, all that trouble that he's caused them. But they also cause trouble for the Israelites too, right? But I told you, the problem is Samson is doing all of this for his own personal reasons. So, but you know, I guess you could say the Lord is working it out, right? Because he's still fighting against them, right? He is still fighting them, just not, you know, for God's glory at all, okay? 
So Samson, you know, for 20 years, he went back and forth with this conflict with the Philistines, just going back and forth, back and forth. So Samson would also often go in the Philistine territory, just walking around. He would see the women, you know, he would do different things like that. And that's because he knew the Philistines wouldn't do him anything. And he's like, I can go inside and walk around your cities and do anything I want because y'all are not going to do anything to me, right? So one day though, when he's in one of the Philistine cities, Samson meets a Philistine woman and her name was Delilah, okay? So he meets this woman named Delilah. He falls in love with her and he's like, oh man, I've met the woman that I want to marry. I've met the perfect Philistine woman woman now remember he married a philistine woman before and didn't that cause all kind of problems in his life right all the drama was because of that and here we see him doing it again he meets delilah and he's like oh she's just a perfect woman for me to marry she's a beautiful philistine woman you know this is just is just perfect for me this is perfect so yes he meets delilah Okay, so we see he did not learn his lesson from the first time. Well, the problem is Delilah is a lot different from that first wife. She is wicked and heartless, right? She was very beautiful to look at, but she did not have good motives in why she married. I mean, why she was with Samson. She cared more about her Philistine people more than Samson. So when Samson showed that he wanted to marry her, be with her, she said, this is a perfect opportunity for me to trap Samson, to trick him, right? To trick him. And so, and this would be perfect, right? Because the Philistine men couldn't do it, right? They couldn't, no matter how hard they tried. But do you think Samson would expect a Philistine woman to trick him? He did not expect that. So Delilah, she's like, okay, Samson is interested. Well, that's fine. But she loved her people more than she loved Samson. And she was going to do whatever she could to help her people, even if that meant destroying Samson. But Samson did not know this, obviously, right? So well, the Philistines go to Delilah and they said, hey, we know that you and Samson are together. They said, we want to figure out his weakness because we know he has a weakness. There has to be something that can allow us, something that we can take away or destroy that would allow us to capture him and he wouldn't be able to do anything. They were like, Delilah, we need you to find out his secret. Find out what is his weakness? What is his secret? Why is he so strong? Why can he do? Why can't we defeat him, Delilah? Help us out and help us to figure this out. They say, if you do this, we will give you 1,100 silver coins. So they will give her money. They said, let us know. And that was a lot of money. And I'm sure Delilah was like, oh yeah, I could use that money. And so they're like, you're the only person that could know, that could tell us because Samson, he won't tell anybody, right? But you will find out. Remember, it's because of what? His hair. Remember the hair. The Lord told him not to cut the hair. And so nobody knows though, except his parents. They know, I mean, you know, the Lord told them, but yeah, so they're like, figure out his secret, Delilah, and tell us, tell us. And I told you, Delilah was like, I'm going to tell you. As soon as I find out, I'm going to tell you. So she doesn't know. I mean, Samson doesn't know that Delilah is plotting this behind his back. He does not know, right? He's just in love with her because she's beautiful and not even knowing that she's a wicked woman that wants to destroy him along with the Philistines. So Samson would come and visit Delilah. So the next time he came to visit Delilah, she was like, oh, so sweet and nice. She's like, oh, Samson, you're so strong. Oh, Samson. She was like, tell me, how are you so strong? I just, I've never seen someone so strong like that before. They was like, she was like, no one can capture you. You're the strongest person I have ever met, Samson. Tell me, what's the secret to your strength? Just tell me, Samson, I just want to know. So she's flattering him right now. And if you didn't know, flattery is kind of like a lie. You people usually flatter people to kind of manipulate them to get them to do what they want. So she's lying, right? I mean, he is strong, but she's really doing all of that because she's trying to get the answer. So she's like, just tell me, Samson, tell me. So Samson says, well, 
He says, if you were to tie me up with seven fresh bowstrings, like fresh rope, he said, if you were to tie me up, it's never been dried, it's, it's fresh. He said, I would be super weak and I would not be strong at all. Now, is that true? No. No, he's lying to her too. So he tells her, he says, look, if you find some fresh string, fresh, and you tie me up with seven of them, I'm going to be weak. I will not be able to, you know, uh, to be able to be strong. I, I'm going to be able to be captured. So she's thinking, okay, this is it. So as soon, so Samson, you know, he falls asleep. She, she, she gets the Philistine rulers to come and bring the seven strings, right? And to tie him up. And while Samson slept, she ties him up. She calls the men and she says, come, come. This is his weakness. Come and get him. Come and and capture him and so when the philistines show up she's like samson oh no the philistines are here now she's the one that told them what was going on but anyway she's like oh no samson the philistines are here so samson woke up stretched himself and now they're all thinking oh he's going to be weak right because that's what he told them he told them if he has the seven strings the fresh seven strings that he would be captured right even though we know that was not the truth, but that's what he told them. So whenever he sees the Philistines come in, guess what Samson does? Breaks free with no problem. He breaks free and he destroys those Philistines that tried to attack him. Now also, Samson should realize that what? Delilah told them, right? You think he woke up and was like, oh, why am I tied up? right? No, he's probably waking up and thinking to himself, well, she must have told them what I told her. So you would think Samson would be wise and say, maybe I should leave Delilah alone, right? Maybe because she's trying to trick me. She's trying to capture me. I told her my secret, which was not really a secret, but I told her my secret. Then she told them and she tried to capture me, right? But guess what? He doesn't even let it bother him. He he thought it was like, oh, that's funny, Delilah. You tried to trick me. Oh, that's so funny. And he lets it go. And he doesn't even like care, honestly, that she tried to trick him. This woman is trying to destroy you, Samson. And you look at it and say, oh, that was fun. Right. Not wise. No. Not wise. No. No. And so Samson, you know, he, that's what I said, those distractions. Sometimes you can be so caught up in the distraction that sometimes it's placed before you. You can completely forget about God. You can be so wrapped up in sin. You're not thinking clearly. You're just doing things, operating foolishly. And it's just like, what is going on? And so Samson, you know, he knew Delilah had said it. She tied him up. She did exactly what he said. But instead, it doesn't even phase him. He's like, mm-mm. So he's with Delilah again. And she does it again. She's like, Samson, you're just making fun of me. Why did you tell me about the seven bowstrings? Why did you tell me that? And that was not the truth. She's like, you lied to me, Samson. Please tell me the real secret. Tell me, tell me, where do you get your strength, Samson? Please don't lie to me anymore. I really need to know, please. So Samson's like, I guess I'll play along with her. So he's like, okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you where I get my strength from. He says, well, he says, if I'm tied up with brand new ropes, which have never been used, right? I'll become as weak as any other man. Now, is this true? No. no. So he's playing along with her. He's, yeah, he think it's a, a joke, right? But that's, this is, this is like coming from pride because he's like, you know what? I'm going to, you know, tell her this, but I really know nothing can really stop my strength anyway. So I'm just going to play along with her, right? So Samson fell asleep. So Delilah this time took new ropes, tied him up. And again, the Philistines were hiding. And she says, okay, this is it right here. He says, this is what I had to do. And so I did it. So you're going to come in. And so the Philistines bust in the room and she's like, Samson, Samson, the Philistines are here. The Philistines are here. So Samson woke up, stretched himself. And guess what he did again? Broke the ropes, right? Again, everyone is shocked in the Philistines. They are like, oh no. And so he defeats the Philistines again because they thought once again that this time they were like, we got him this time. And it was not, it was another lie. And so Samson is just playing, you know, he's, he's playing with her. 
but she's really trying to trick him, right? And so she's like, Samson, why are you just making fun of me? You're, you're lying to me. Why are you not telling me the truth? Tell me, tell me for real. Tell me, Samson, where do you get your strength? Where do you get your strength? I just want to know. Just tell me this one time. I'm not going to tell anyone. I will not tell anyone at all. Where do you get your strength? So he didn't tell her, but she kept asking and asking. And I like every day, all day, she would say, Samson, tell me where you get your strength. Samson, tell me where you get your strength. Samson, please tell me, how do you have strength? Samson, please tell me how, how? Samson, please. Has somebody ever asked you a question over and over and over again? Or no, no, no. Better yet, have you asked your parents the same question over and over and over and over again? Well, that's what it feels like when you do that. So she they tell you no, say okay, yes, right. no, no ma'am, sure. no sir, or whatever, just and like just let it go. But when you sit there and you keep asking and asking and asking, it's like, oh. Uh. So imagine, you know, you say that's annoying. Now imagine doing that to your parents. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So anyway, so she just constantly kept asking him and asking him, and she's like, Please tell me, please, 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 Samson, tell me, please. So Samson says, okay, 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 Delilah, okay, I'll tell you. He says, if you take my hair and you braid it into seven braids, he says, and then <clears throat> into a cloth, you got to yeah, braid it into seven braids. He says, I'll become as weak as any other man. Yes. now is that true yes. no it's not true it's not true his strength is not in braids <laughs> so he says if you braid my hair and seven braids he says i'm gonna be weak so samson falls asleep again and guess what delilah does with his hair she braids it into seven braids and she says finally i will have the 1100 silver coins this is it Samson will now be defeated by the Philistines, she's right? Lying. And so she's like, Samson, Samson, the Philistines are here. The Philistines are here. So Samson wakes up and he, <clears throat> and he just pulled his hair out and, you know, that was it. That was it. And so she realized Samson is just strong, right? And so she I lied know. to her again. He lied to her again. She thought, she's like, man, this is the third time I thought maybe but again samson is not telling her the truth so she goes back and she's like samson how can you say that you love me when you can't even tell me the truth she says you've made fun of me three times now and you still have not told me what makes you so strong she's like samson please and so she started to bother him even more day and night constantly asking him tell me tell me tell me she would write a note tell me tell me she would call him on the phone tell me tell me just constantly tell me samson tell me these are jokes they didn't have phones. but yes tell me samson please 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 i can't wait anymore so finally samson had enough he's like oh my gosh this was three times i tried to trick her and she's not letting it go samson's like okay okay he says listen I'm a Nazarite, okay? Dedicated to the God of Israel, set apart. Therefore, because of my vow, my hair has never been cut. He says, if my hair is cut, my strength will leave me and I will become weak as everyone else. So now is that the truth? Yes. So finally, she breaks him down and he tells her his secret. And we'll stop here. No. No. And we'll see what happens after. No. This. So Samson tells her his secret. No. Why would Samson do no. such a thing? No. 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 Well, yeah, no. she just kept bothering him. She kept bothering him, and so he just he had enough. He had enough, he had enough and he couldn't take it anymore. So that's why he finally broke down and told her. And so, huh? Yeah, and so he he told her. He told her, he says, this was the truth. He, he was a Nazarite. And because of his vow, his hair had never been cut. And that's where his strength came from. 
And so wow. he knew. He knew he broke the other vows, though, right, with touching dead things. But this one he has not broken with cutting his hair. And so he tells her this. And so tomorrow we'll see what happens. So this is not good, right? Samson is... So, yeah, so we'll stop here today. So, Delilah... You know, she, 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 told her. She, was, she was tricking him just as much as he, you know, he was trying to trick her with the uh, lying to her, but he little did he know she was serious about getting the answer. She wanted her 1100 silver coins, right? So tomorrow we'll pick up to see what happens after Samson tells his secret to Delilah and what, you know, what she will transpire because, hold on, he should have told because of him telling the secret. So we'll kind of get into that tomorrow to see what happens so she finally got she finally got him right but again is this Delilah's fault though yeah not really I mean she's gonna do what Samson is allowing her to do from the first time when Samson saw that she tried to trick him the first time he should have been like you know what? I think I should leave Delilah alone. She's trying to trip me up. But instead, but instead, he stays there. And now look where we are. Okay, so yep. So that's it for today, guys. On Bible. So tomorrow we will finish Samson. Tomorrow will be our last lesson on Samson tomorrow. So we'll kind of talk about what happens next. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Samson. Yeah, I know, right? All right. All right, guys. So that's it for Bible today. So I'll see y'all later for your Zooms. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.